on avoiding sensory overload that may regularly help you. Number one, when you're out in public, orient yourself to where there's the least amount of people or movement. For example, at a restaurant, face the wall or a corner so there's the least amount of visual stimuli possible. Number two, have the necessary sensory tools such as noise canceling earbuds, essential oils, fidget toys, and sunglasses. If you're at home, a weighted blanket would also really, really help. Number three, when you need to cook a meal or laundry, do it very, very slowly and carefully. Why? Because if you are already almost at that borderline of sensory overload and you bump into something or drop something, odds are you're going to crash over that sensory overload threshold and there's no turning back. Number four, lay down. It's a simple one, but if you get the chance, it can be really, really helpful and regulating your nervous system happens best when we are in a lying down position. Number five is more of a mentality one. Give yourself the permission to leave any circumstance at any time. If you feel trapped, the sensory overload will probably feel much greater. So giving yourself that permission to say, it's okay for me to leave this experience will do a world of good. And follow along for more tips and tricks on regulating your sensory nervous system.